So in this video, we are going to learn how to add new leads from Instagram lead ads to Zoho CRM. Let's say you are running some ads on Instagram and using those ads, you are also generating some new leads and you want to add these leads into Zoho CRM. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. So in this automation, whenever a new lead will be generated in Instagram lead ads, automatically the details of that same lead will be sent to Zoho CRM and we are going to create a new lead over here. So if you want to know how you can set up this kind of automation all by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my Instagram account and I have connected my Instagram account with my Facebook page. And using this Facebook page, I'm running some ads on Instagram to generate some new leads. So here you can see in my ad campaign as well, I have selected this same page over here. And in this page, we have created some lead gen form. So whenever this ad is shown to some person on Instagram, they get an option to fill the lead gen form and using which we are generating some new leads. Now I want that all the leads which I'm generating using Instagram lead ads, I want to add all of those leads to Zoho CRM as well. And to do this, we have to connect our Instagram lead ads account with Zoho CRM. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. And to access Public Connect, we will just go to a new tab in our browser and we will search for P-A-B-B-L-Y, fabby.com slash connect. And here you can see we are on the landing page of Public Connect. After coming to the landing page, you can see two options, sign in and sign up free. So if you are new to Pabli, by clicking on sign up free, you can create your free Pabli account in just two minutes. Or if you already have a Pabli account, just click on sign in. So I will just sign in to my own Pabli account. And after signing in, we will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here we just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And after clicking on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. After coming to this dashboard, we have to create an automation workflow over here. For that, just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I would like to name my workflow as Instagram lead ads to Zoho CRM. Instagram lead ads to Zoho CRM. You can give any other name of your choice. Then just select the folder of your Pabli account in which you want to create this automation and click on create. And as you click on create, here you can see the automation workflow is open over here. In this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we have to connect our Instagram lead ads account with Pabli Connect in the trigger step so that using our ads whenever a new lead is generated automatically the details of that same lead will be received inside Pabli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. After that using this Pabli Connect automation we are going to send the details of the same lead to Zoho CRM and we are going to add that same person as a lead in our Zoho CRM as well. So let's see how it is done. Starting from a trigger window in Choose app, search for Instagram lead ads. Just select it. After selecting Instagram lead ads in trigger event from the dropdown, select the trigger event as new lead instant. After selecting a trigger event, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Instagram lead ads account with Pabli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Instagram lead ads button. And as you click on it, here in this pop-up window, it is asking me to connect my Facebook account. So as I told you that my Instagram profile, my Instagram account is connected with my Facebook page. And the connection between Instagram lead ads and Pabli Connect happens through this Facebook account only. Because we run Instagram lead ads from Facebook itself. So that's why it is asking us to select our Facebook account. So select the Facebook account which is connected with your Instagram file. And after selecting it, you will see our Instagram lead ads account or our Facebook account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, here it is asking us for the page. That in your Facebook account, here you can see in this drop down, you will get a list of all the Facebook pages which you have. Out of all of this, which particular Facebook page is connected with your Instagram profile? Using which particular Facebook page you are running ads on Instagram? You have to select that particular page from this drop down. So the name of my page using which I'm running the ad is named as Peak Performance Physio. So I'll just search for the page over here, Peak Performance Physio. 
After selecting the Facebook page, in the next step, it is asking us lead gen form. So here in this particular Facebook page, you might have created multiple lead gen form which you are using to run the ads. So in this drop down, you will get a list of all the lead gen form which you have. Now, if you want to add the leads from some specific lead gen form in Zoho CRM, from this drop down, you can select that particular lead gen form. But like me, if you want to add the lead from all the lead gen form, the leads which you are getting from all of these form, if you want to add them in Zoho CRM, in that case, you can select this all lead gen forms option. So I'm going to select it. After selecting all lead gen form, just click on save and send test request. And as you click on save and send test request, it has now changed to waiting for webhook response. This means Public Connect is waiting to get some response of a new lead from Instagram lead ads. So now what we have to do, if you are having an active ad campaign on Instagram, in that case, what you can do, you can just wait for a new lead to generate and capture the details of that new lead in our Public Connect workflow. But if you don't have an active ad campaign or if you don't want to basically wait for a new lead to be generated, you can use the Meta's lead ad testing tool. So here you can see you just have to go to developers.facebook.com and then just go to tools. After coming to tools, we will scroll down and here you can see lead ads RTO debug tool. Just click on it. And here you can see the lead ad testing tool is open in front of us. Now using this testing tool, you can generate some test lead and capture the response of that lead in our Public Connect workflow. Now to generate a test lead using this testing tool, the first thing it asks us is the page that for which particular page we want to generate the test lead. So here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the Facebook pages. Out of all of this, I'll select my Facebook page for which we want to capture the leads. So the name of my Facebook page is Peak Performance Physio. So I'm just going to select it. After selecting the Facebook page, it is asking us for the form. So in this drop down, you can see we have four forms and the same four forms were visible inside Public Connect as well. So let's take an example of this Instagram lead ads, this particular form. I'm just going to select it and then we will just click on this preview form button. Now, after clicking on preview form, here you can see our lead gen form is open in front of us in preview mode. So the same form will be shown to the people on our Instagram ads as well. Now here in this form, we are going to enter the details of a test lead, a dummy lead. Let's say the name of the person is demo user. And after that, this is the email address. And this is the dummy mobile number. After that, the company name is, for example, Pavli. So just now we have entered the details of a test lead, a dummy lead over here in this lead gen form. Now let's click on next and click on submit. And as we click on submit, you can see just now using this lead ad testing tool, we have generated a test lead. And because we have connected our Instagram lead ads account with Pavli Connect, we will see in our Pavli Connect workflow in this trigger step, within few seconds, we have received the response. And in this response, you can see the details of the same lead. We have the same post name, same last name, same email, same mobile number and the company name as well. This means the step one of setting up this automation is completed where we have received the details of a new lead from Instagram lead ads in our Pavli Connect workflow. After this, let's move to step two. And in step two, we want to add this same lead in Zoho CRM as well. For that, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in Choose app, we will search for Zoho CRM. Just select it. After selecting Zoho CRM, an action event from the dropdown, select the action event as create slash update record. Then after that, just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here we have to connect our Zoho CRM account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, just click on this connect with Zoho CRM button. As you click on connect, this pop-up box will appear in front of us. And it is basically asking us the domain of our Zoho account. So you might be having any one domain out of all of these five of your Zoho account. Now to know the domain of your Zoho account, just log into your Zoho account and here you can see Zoho.in. In the URL section, you can see Zoho.in is the domain of my Zoho account. So I'll just copy this domain from here and then we will just paste it over here. Now, other than this, if you have Zoho.com, Zoho.eu, Zoho.com AU or Zoho.cn as your domain, you can just enter that particular domain over here. After entering the domain, let's click on save. And as we click on save, here you can see in this pop-up box, it has detected my Zoho account because we have already logged in in our browser. Now here in this pop-up box, just click on accept 
and as we click on accept you will see our zo crm account will get connected with pavli connect after making this connection the first thing it asks us is the module name so here from this drop down you have to select the module which you want to create or insert in your zoho account so i want to insert a lead i want to create a lead in zoho so i'm going to select leads as the module over here after selecting leads as the module the next thing it asks us is the layout so in my zoho account i have only one standard layout to create a new lead so from the drop down i'm going to select it but if in case if you have created multiple layouts in your zoho account in this drop down you will get a list of all the layouts so you can just select that particular layout over here then it is asking us for the pipeline name duplicate check field so if you want to add the lead in some specific pipeline you can just add it over here and also it is asking us some other details like the lead owner and record image so if you want to add the lead or assign the lead to some specific owner you can enter it over here but right now we are not going to mention all of these details from here my team will do all of these things in the zoho crm i just have to insert the lead in my crm and here you can see we have the field of company so from instagram lead at responses we have received the details of a new lead and in those details we had the name email phone number and company so from the instagram lead at responses we are going to map the response of company name to this zoho crm action step in this company field and the process of mapping is very simple just click on this field and here in the drop down you can see a list of all the responses of a new lead which we have received from instagram lead ads out of all of these responses select the response of company name and map it after mapping the company name it is asking us for the post name so we have received the post name of a new lead as well so from the drop down we are going to map the response of post name and then let's map the last name in this field we don't have any response or designation and this field is also not mandatory not required so if you want you can ignore this field for now then in the field of email we are going to map the response of email address and then here in the field of mobile number let's map the mobile number then it is asking us website so we don't have the website then if you want you can just ignore this field for now in lead source in this drop down you can see a list of different options out of all of this you can select any source of your choice now because we are getting this lead from instagram so let's say i will be selecting the lead source as facebook because we are running facebook ads on instagram directly then in the status you can see we have different options and here i am going to select the status as not contacted because we haven't contacted these leads yet then in industry from the drop down here you can see different option and i am going to select none over here because i don't know the industry of that particular person of that particular lead then it is asking us number of employees annual revenue and some other details and we don't have these details received from instagram lead ads of a new lead so what you can do you can just ignore these fields then we have the address and we haven't received the address as well so we are going to ignore it too then we will just scroll down and after mapping all the basic details of a new lead which we have received from instagram lead ads just click on save and send test request after clicking on save and send test request here you can see we have received the response and this response seems to be a positive response to us this response shows that the details of a new lead which we have mapped over here basically the new lead which we have received from instagram lead ads this lead is now added in zoho crm so let's check it we will go to zoho crm and then to the lead section and yes here you can see demo user the same person the same lead which we have just now generated in instagram lead ads the same lead is now added in our zoho crm you can see the same name you can see the same email phone number and the same lead status which we have selected in our public connect workflow also you can see the same mobile number too this means the automation workflow which we have created using public connect between instagram lead ads and zoho crm this automation is working perfectly fine now after setting up this automation let's test this automation workflow once in real time for that we will go back to the lead ad testing tool and we are going to generate another test lead but before generating another test lead first we have to delete the existing lead which we have created because using this lead ad testing tool you can only create one lead at a time so what we are going to do just click on this delete lead button and after clicking on delete lead just refresh your page once after refreshing the page just select the page from this drop down the facebook page from the drop down and after selecting the facebook page just select the lead gen form let's say i'm using this particular form click on preview form button and after clicking on preview form here in this form we are going to enter the details of another lead the name of the lead is test user the email address is this 
and then this is the dummy mobile number which we are entering. The company is for example Tesla. After entering the details of another test lead, just click on next and click on submit. So just now we have received another lead. We have received a new lead in our Instagram lead ads. And as we receive a new lead using this automation, we are going to add the same lead in Zoho CRM. So we'll just go to Zoho CRM and go to leads section. And yes, here you can see test user. The same person, the same lead is now added in Zoho CRM. You can see the same name, same email, same phone number and all the other details and the status is also not contacted. This means the automation workflow which we have created using Pavli Connect, this automation is working perfectly fine. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Pavli Connect. And also one more important thing, you will get a clone link of this exact same automation workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can clone the same workflow into your own Pavli Connect account and use this automation workflow for free. If you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can email us at support at or post it on our forum over here. Or you can write us in the comment box below too. If you want to check out the pricing of Pavli Connect, you can visit this link. And if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Pavli. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.